Welcome back. I am Steve and this is Barn Sprite number three. It's been over a year since I've done a video on this car. I've probably tinkered around with it a little bit since that last video, but honestly, I don't remember what condition the car is in right now. I'm glad that in the very first video with the six bug eyes that I labeled them on the windshield. Otherwise, I probably would have lost track of which car was which. In the last video, I did get the car running. So if we can get it running well enough to drive it outside, let's finally give it a bath for the first time in many, many decades. I didn't even notice when I was filming the intro that I had a couple screws sitting on top of the car here. Those go in the windshield frame right here. There is a captured nut on the car that this screw screws into, but on this one, I will have to find a nut and put it on the other side of it. I think I'll throw those in right now before they get lost. Turns out I only needed one of these because the other side already had both of them in place. Now let's get the bonnet up and take a look at where this car is at right now. First off, it looks like we have a battery in this car, so I'm going to put a charger on it right now. I know the battery will give me problems. It has always given me problems on this car. Spark plugs are hooked up. Radiator hoses need replaced. Looks like the thermostat housing is loose. This is the car that I took the head off of. Looks like some of the brake lines have been replaced. There's still a dead mouse there. I think I put a switch inside the car so that I can turn the ignition on and off from inside now. And in the last video, when I got the car running, you may have noticed that fuel was spraying out from the fuel pump because that was finally working, even though I was running the car off of a fuel bottle. So the fuel pump is now hooked up. And I have a new master cylinder in the car. All of the bug eyes have needed new master cylinders. So potentially the brakes and clutch might work in this one. We'll have to find out if they do once we get the engine running. So I'll get that battery charger on and then we can try to crank the engine over. I will need to put all new hoses on eventually. Looks like I did put on a bypass hose when I had the head off. Looks like we have something hanging down. So here's the bracket for the choke that would be held on with the air cleaners. So the choke is not going to be working from inside the car right now. Looks like the throttle is hooked up, however. Battery charger is on it, saying only 25% right now. Let that charge for a little bit, and then we'll try to crank it over. Starter cable is right over here, so if I pull that, it should turn the engine over. Which it does. I don't know if you noticed that. The engine turned over, but the fan did not turn. There is no belt on the engine. So I need to find the belt and get that on. Otherwise, the water pump is not going to turn but there's no water in the system anyway, so I guess for right now, that doesn't matter. Here inside the car, this is the switch that I added in here to be able to turn the ignition on and off temporarily. The reason I'm doing this is I don't have the key to the ignition, and I didn't want to replace that switch if I didn't have to. There is a place, I think it's called British Car Keys or something like that, where you can give the code for your ignition switch, and they'll send you the key that matches that. Unfortunately, they have not responded to any of my emails, so I guess I'm going to have to order a new switch, and that is one of the holdups of why it's taken so long to get back to this car. So let's turn the ignition on, give it a little bit of starter fluid, and see if anything happens. There's a little bit of starter fluid. I'll pull the starter cable. actually didn't expect it to run there. So it looks like the fuel pump is working. We have fuel up to the carbs. Now we can get in it and see if the clutch works. If the clutch doesn't work, I'll just put it in gear and drive it outside. 
but I think it's time to finally give this car a little wash. It's been decades since this car has been clean. So we know this will start. Just need to use my ignition switch, but will it drive? Feels like it has brakes. Feels like the clutch might work. Let's give it a go. There we go. And we're off. This thing looks, looks amazing now. What a transformation. This thing went from, you barely even wanted to touch the thing because it was so gross, to this beautiful red with white hardtop bug eye. I am also going to clean under the bonnet a little bit, make it a little nicer to work under here. Maybe that dead mouse will go away. I didn't want to spray too much water in there, just enough to get all the dust and dirt and grime off of things. I was careful to stay away from those carburetors, not get much water blown in there. That's going to be it for today. I did get a hold of a company called Triple C. They did respond back to me. They will be sending me some ignition keys for this car so that I can get rid of that temporary switch. So next time we'll get to putting on the other parts that I have for it. We'll test out that key that they send me, and hopefully soon we'll have this car back on the road. I am planning on selling this car once it's done, so if you would like to own this car, send me a message, thisweekwithcars at gmail.com. And if you want to see more videos like this, comment below and let me know.